Good morning, traders. Today is the 15th of February. It is a consolidation day. We're going to take a look at the SPY cycle patterns and see how things are going to play out and potentially look at the range that we need to look at uh, regarding this, uh, this breakaway pattern setting up over the 16th and 17th. So visit Ment.com, see what I have going on, see how I can help you. Uh, special thanks to everybody who's been following me on Twitter and other sources. Remember, this is a uh, scenario where we're looking for the markets to continue to move higher uh, and to continue to execute, uh, and, uh, and we'll see how this plays out. Okay, so now we're gonna come back over here and take a look at the ES. This is the ES uh, E-mini futures contract, and particularly what we're looking at is this rotation right here. So I'm gonna shrink this down and we're gonna pay attention. This is the topping pattern, beautiful topping uh, scenario. So this week we had this pullback. This was a rotation bar Monday. This was a topping pattern Tuesday. This is a consolidation period here. And what I can see, ladies and gentlemen, is we have a fairly tight consolidation range, kind of right across these lows. You can see that I'm tagging these lows down here and these lows over here. Then we have a fairly tight consolidation period right over in here. Uh, ignoring this top, what we have with this topping formation right here is a unique peak that's set up, which we have to be aware of with regards to actual trending. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line right across here, assuming I can get my mouse to cooperate this morning. Try to get it as close to horizontal as perfect. Not quite there, but we'll keep it. There we go. And uh, so now, when we're in this consolidation range, we're very likely to stay somewhat within this period. So understand that we have this structure in place, this upward trending. And in reality, here's the bottom that took place in December. We come back up, A, B, now we have a little ABC pattern here, and then we have this pullback that is flagging into this type of a mode. So we have really a wave A here, pullback one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, with a breakout moving towards the end of the week. So Thursday, Friday could be a rally phase in the market, possibly leading into the uh, crush uh, carryover pop pattern here next week. So understand that we get a base rally here, we get a pop here. It would not be uncommon to potentially see this, you know, in this area, maybe try to flush back down in these areas. Uh, and again, I kind of drew it wrong, but eventually I think it's going to resolve back to the upside. And that's probably going to re be around the 20th or so. Let me draw a vertical line. 21st of February is right here. That's exactly my apex pattern. This is when I think we're gonna get into a new trending phase. If you've been following my research, I've been warning everyone that I think we're gonna move into a new trending phase after or near the 21st, which lines up perfectly with this apex formation that I'm setting up. So where we're at with the SPY is, and this is my SPY chart, Looks a little cluttered, I know, with lots of lines, but uh, follow along with the price action, and we will try to ignore these lines. So we have the same basic structure. We have the lows here. We come across these lows or bodies at this point. Uh, we can come right out in this area, and then we come across these highs, across these highs, out to this area, and that puts us around the 22nd, 23rd, Understand that right here is the 22nd of February. And uh, very likely that we are going to get some sort of an apex formation setting up in this area. Remember, we have this, again, same setup. We have this A, B. Then we have an A, B, C formation up to here. This leads us to wave one. We come down to wave uh, two, three, four potentially, and then five resolving to the upside. 
So what we're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is a potential pullback into this 405. So let me try to draw here, somewhere around this low, potentially between here and here. So 405, 407, this area is going to potentially be our low for the next phase, right over in here. Okay, that's going to be the low for the next phase of consolidation. Given where we're at with this large range topping bar, it's very likely that we could stay within this 408, let's call it, 65 area to a uh, 414 and a half area. But in reality, ladies and gentlemen, let me clear this. We have, uh, and this, we have essentially a range between here and here. So if I were to come in here and uh, let me see where we're at here. And if I were to come in here and try to establish this range here across you know, this range here, which is this high to this low, we are likely to stay within this channel. Okay, so understand that here we go. We're looking at it from a standpoint of strictly Fibonacci. So we are likely to stay within this channel. And this means that we're going to be somewhere probably between the 412 to 413 area as a peak, maybe 413 and a half, and then somewhere possibly down into the uh, 407, uh, sorry, 408 area. So roughly 408 to 413 within this consolidation I do believe that the consolidation is going to be to the downside down in this area, okay, somewhere down in this area here, and then resolving back to the upside before we start to move into this area. So we could see, uh, again, this is a daily chart, and we could see a bit of a move uh, downward consolidating today into Thursday before we get some sort of a breakout. Now the breakout could be to the downside, establishing this area, and then eventually moving back to the upside here, resolving to the upside as we get into this uh, February 21, 22 area. I do believe the, the uh, re reality is that the markets want to try to move higher. What we're seeing is a moderately strong economy, weakening inflation um, and understand that the Fed will probably continue to raise rates at, at 25 basis points for the next couple of months, probably until May, June, July, maybe. Uh, and then I think we're going to move into a weakening period, which, like I told you, could uh, disrupt the markets a little bit, uh, could uh, indicate that uh, the markets have reflated quite extensively. Now, remember, I had drawn this in the weekly video and I want you to be aware that ultimately my analysis has not changed. We're just discussing what's likely to happen over the next three or four days. So you can see I'd kind of drawn this line and uh, I had expected this to move up. Uh, and again, this is kind of a, a broader trend. So in reality, this is the February. In fact, let me draw this in timeline with where we're at. So I expect a rally. We've seen this pullback. I expect it to resolve to the upside and I expect it to move all the way out to the end of March, out into here, stall over into April and then pull back down into a consolidation phase which will set up the next wave higher. And understand that this move is really when you consider this base bottom back here in October, this is really an A, B, C move here. So in reality, as I was mentioning to you, A, B, C pullback. So this is kind of a, a scenario where we could get a fifth wave up here, uh, indicating that we have a, an impulse wave here. This fifth wave could end up back in this 440, 435 area, and that would be a measured move, as I've shown you right here, measured move to the upside. Uh, then we could see it roll back over. And what this would be, ladies and gentlemen, 
would be a large impulse wave one. This whole thing is wave one to the upside. We would have an A, B, C, D, and eventual E up over into this area, up into 450, 460. But the long and short of it, we're contending with what's happening right here. And what's happening right here is a consolidation phase, again, roughly between 414 uh, and 408, in my opinion, with an ultimate support level down here roughly at 405. We are going to consolidate into this range, maybe get down into the 406, 407 area, uh, finding support before uh, February 21st, and then moving into a resolution to the upside, which will last until the end of March, early April. Okay, follow along. Everything is playing out just perfectly. And remember, the SPY cycle patterns are there to help you learn to become better traders. It was great to watch KD yesterday. He was just nailing it. Uh, and in fact, I talked to him about potentially being a guest on my first live event, uh, going over who he is, what he is, and uh, how I've helped him. He's a, he's a vet, a disabled vet. Came to me a couple months ago. Great guy. Really enjoy working with him, but uh, he's got some really good skills. He, he's got his own system, and he uses my stuff to help him uh, figure out what to do and use it as kind of a biasing mechanism. So anyway, follow me. Go to Mint.com. Learn about what I do, and let's get ready for a, a nice potential rally to the upside near the 21st of February. Talk to you soon.